गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी दिस इज विपिन भारद्वाज आई टेक केयर सेल्स इन इंडिया फॉर गुड वी सो हेयर इन द प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू टेक यू टू द अबाउट द कंपनी प्रोफाइल एंड द प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच वी आर हैविंग इन आवर बकेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी वुड बी कवरिंग द फोर सेक्शंस फर्स्ट अबाउट द कंपनी प्रोफाइल देन द प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच वी आर हैविंग की फीचर्स दैट वुड बी द इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड द फ्यूचर that's that we will be talking in the later slides that's a really good topic on that so about the company profile we are present uh, almost 10 to 12 countries so we are having our four subsidiaries including south korea including australia europe and very soon you will be seeing goodwe india private limited that is process already under process so about the market share we are leading in the china distributed pv market jaz republic we are leading australia we are number 2 sri lanka we are number 3 for india we are also uh, in a good rankings like top 3 to top 4 and you can see there are some international ranking which has been given by world mckinsey and uh, ihs so we are standing with the top 7 and top 4 so in that two rankings uh, you will be seeing the list and you will be able to see the inverters which are mentioned that list are majorly from the utility segment so we are on the only suppliers of the inverters which are having only string inverters in their portfolio to be in the list so that is something uh, good for the uh, us now about the projects so what we have done in india we have supplied cochin airport through sterling wilson that is 10 megawatt indian railways we have done through tata power solar Mangalore refinery, six megawatt. That was the first project for Goodwe for India. Then Bosch, we have given our inverter for four megawatt plant. Then they have already used uh, one megawatt in their uh, North Indian plant. Then fourteen megawatt in Gujarat, we have supplied. That is the major projects in India. Then for international, Ankara Dakhi, eighteen megawatt, ten megawatt, and some of other projects in very renowned places like Essen Circuit in Holland. It is very renowned place, so we have supplied five megawatt at that uh, project. So, about the history of Goodwe, like from where we have start and where we are right now. So, 2010, the first uh, founding stone has been uh, laid off in China only with some R&D initiations and uh, some uh, getting interaction with the award companies like we have been awarded by Photon Efficiency, but number three and number five. within 2014 to 15 we have launched our first hybrid inverter that is uh, comes under a series of es series and good we uk setup has been done in 2015 so we are having a good market share in uk australia netherland and australia setup you can see we give, we have done in 2015 byd is a manufacturer for uh, lithium and batteries so we have a good long cooperation with byd so now we are uh, already supplying uh, our hybrid inverters along with the cooperation of byd So in 2017 and 16. So now we are in India. So let me talk more about the India. In 2017, we take our first step to India market through the big companies like Tata Power Solar, Sterling Wilson, Bosch. So, so Southern India is really a uh, revenue generating market for us. It's like our product has been really get good confidence from the Southern market as well as from the North market. So. In India, we have started our first setup of four service in 2017. Then we take under further 2018 and 19. We are going to set up our subsidiary here, and now we are having a team of 20 people in India itself. So about the product now. So the days before the product comes to in front of you. So just to have three features. Whenever you will be seeing a good way product, so you you can just feel these things very easily compared to any of any of the brand which are available into the market, respected to the ratings. You will be seeing good way is more compact and uh, convenient for the uh, installation as well compared to any of the inverters, uh, respected to the ratings. Like 50 kilowatt inverters, we are having only this 60 kilowatt, uh, 60 kilogram, so it can be really installed within half an hour, one hour maximum. Aluminium body die cast, so we don't use a heat sinks in the inverters. So the body has been designed with aluminium die cast, so 
it is the back cover itself is having the heat sink for the uh, power electronics and there is no direct air cooling for the inverter then the motor and quiet design so up to 25 kilowatt there is no fan in the inverter itself and there on uh, the fan is there but that's only uh, for the uh, outer air flow only so about the on-grid inverters this is the our this is our bucket so which we are having for single phase the range start from 700 watt to 6 kilowatt uh, we are also having for 3.6 4.25 in DSS series, MS series you can also see which is available for up to 10 kilowatt in single phase but that is not available for India market because of the grid regulations because here single phase uh, requires goes up to 6 kilowatt maximum so we do have offering for 6 kilowatt in single phase in three phase we do have a very good bifurcation 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 20 so that has uh, then you will be seeing last one series, the MTV series. That is the uh, super model for us, for India market. That is the spe special model, uh, specially designed for the India market, for 50 kilowatt, 60 kilowatt, 80. 80 is having two, three variants, 50 is having two, three variants. So later on I will be discussing on that. Like as Mohit said from Longhi uh, in his presentation about the bifacial modules. So you all guys are uh, must be knowing that bifacial is getting picking up for the uh, in terms of generation having some good benefit. So our inverter is having a compatibility to work with bifacial modules. So that is uh, a special series comes with the uh, under MT series KBF. So we can discuss on that. This one is uh, the hybrid offerings. Hybrid uh, comes with uh, two uh, majorly single phase and uh, three phase. So in single phase bifurcation is ES series, which comes for three and three point six and uh, five kilowatt. EM BP is retrofit on DC side. A SBP is AC side retrofit. EH series is hybrid ready. ESA so it's a single stop solution for having an inbuilt battery and other things. Then three phase comes with the AC retrofit. BT is AC retrofit again. ET is purely hybrid inverter comes for three ratings 5 8 and 10 now about the features so before the features we would like to see you like red dot design has been given to our dss series inverter so red dot you must be knowing red dot is a special award that has been designed for any electronic gadget it is not something specially for solar uh, industry so we got uh, our DSS uh, uh, has been recognized in that for that, that award. For our TUV in England, we have been awarded uh, consecutively by 2015, 16, 18 for different series and different models. So since uh, uh, in the players are sitting here, it's uh, from the CNI industry and the utility scale industry. So uh, this can be the good features you can consider where you are, when you are designing or selecting any inverter. So, good we inverter for C and I segment, majorly from 25 kilowatt and onwards, 25, 30, 36, 50, 60 and 80. So, that can be designed with 50% more oversizing on DC side. And 50, 60 and 80 kilowatt is able to give you 15% more AC. Because whenever you are optimizing on DC, then the highest generation is most desired one. So, we do have a more AC bandwidth in that uh, the clipping losses will be a bit minimal compared to other inverters because in the industry inverters are there who are supplying 10% AC extra but here in Goodwe we are able to provide you 15% so 80 kilowatt inverter can give you up to 92 kilowatt 60 kilowatt can give you 90, 60, 90, sorry, 69 kilowatt 50 kilowatt give you, can give you up to uh, 57.5 so that we can give And whatever I am talking about, like the AC oversizing, DC oversizing in terms of te uh, technical, so that is not something related to the temperature. <coughs> Anyhow, when a design team is designing any project, so they are considering temperature as a 50 degree ambient. So the project ha can be designed, like 15% AC extra loading can be done on 50 degree ambient temperature. Uh, on DC optimization 50% so can be done on 50 full load operations. That's why we have mentioned 50% full load operation. Extreme condition like minus 32 plus 56 plus 60 and the inverter can operate. 
and higher efficiency of 99% some of the models. Now coming to the features, because you must be seeing there are numbers of the inverter available in the market right now, but the, the advantage which the inverter can give you on the, only on the feature side. So apart from the generation, these are some features which can uh, give you added advantage to convince any industrialist who are a bit concerned on the safeties or having some any other issues like reverse polarity protection which we are having in our inverters PLC and anti-reverse current so PLC you must be knowing PLC PLC is power line carrier communication with that you can just remove all of the accessories which you are going to use for daisy chain if you are having a plant or uh, with the transformer installation transform based installation we are not connecting the AC output to the LT panel there you can use PLC so that will be removing all the stuff for that will be used like G RS485 cable and other stuff so that will be totally removed anti-reverse current so this is something zero power export where you are not having uh, uh, grid connectivity oh sorry that net metering so there you can use that feature and we do have a separate product for that that is called SEC 1000 so in that uh, uh, automatic power factor correction can be done, active power adjustment can be done, active power, re uh, reactive power composition can be done. Connector temperature detection is there, low cost BS. So, in what is meaning of that this feature? Our inverter 50, 60, and 80 is compatible to get connected with 95 square mm aluminium cable, which can lead you to reduce some cost on the BOS side, on AC side. So the connectivity of the cable is 95 square mm till the 80 kilowatt. NTPID is there as a feature, which is optional. You can get it wherever you required. It can give you advantage on the generations. Rapid shutdown. That is something uh, special feature has been designed as per the requirement of the customers. Using this feature, you can shut off all the inverters within 10 milliseconds. Like if you are connecting a plant less of 60 numbers of inverter, that can be shut down within 20, uh, 10 milliseconds. So there is something about the rapid shutdown. Now about the hybrid inverters. So hybrid is ready. There are the basically three big features which we are. I am here to represent to you like hybrid ready. So that is something. Hybrid ready means it's not a purely off grid or purely on grid. It's a purely hybrid inverter. It can be used as a hybrid as well as the on grid can. This inverter can supply uh, excess power to the grid as well using net metering. Second, the UPS. The change over time is 10 milliseconds from off grid to on grid. That's why we call it as a uh, UPS. Fanless and quiet operation. You can just install very near to any silent places. <coughs> This one is ESA, all-in-one solution, UPS, expandable storage, so yeah. This is something which I was talking to that is very going to be very interesting part. This is uh, our o and portal. Why I am saying o and It's not only the monitoring, it's really o and portal. Companies like there are the companies who are having separate cloud, separate data loggers uh, to monitor the plant. So we can give you a data logger along with the cloud, with the monitoring portal, you can e monitor each and every parameter of the plant, like even from string level current monitoring to the PR generation even. The PR calculation can be seen on the, our portal. So this SAMS is having um, very uh, kind of new kind of features we have been introduced. Energy router is there. Smart home management platform is, is can be used like this. Household energy management like even by using a smart plug, we are having a device called a smart plug. You can monitor which device is getting how much power. So that can be monitored. Local community energy trading, like uh, you can just install a power plant and can be sold to the uh, like residential societies. So that we can do that. This is the uh, process like gateway for the inverter and the Wi-Fi and the 4G and uh, 5G SAMS cloud. And for the industrial and commercial management, IoT platform we are using. And this is a, the three phase energy router is there, power demand management we can do. Virtual power plant, like uh, if you will be pl putting a plant over here and you would be putting uh, selling to power to any other third party. So you can do all the uh, like energy management on that portal itself. The smart microgrid management is also available. 
So this is the same gateway which we are using for ESS. So these are the nine solution which can be given to by the SEMS. So this is a really uh, good platform for the O&M. One company can have as a dedicated O&M portal for this. So one people can have numbers of plant of access, even day inverter wise, plant wise. So that can be done. So just to conclude that, why good we? So we have a food product portfolio, smart energy management systems. That is a, the screenshot for the global monitoring portal. Data collection we are good at. Strong R&D team, so 200 people for R&D. Uh, that is 20% strength of total good we team. Inverter monitoring, smart plug, all developed by ourselves. So that's uh, you will be seeing along with the inverter, we are having some kind of good accessories that will be added advantage to the plant. So thank you very much. So I am available for the whole day for the any kind of discussion. Thank you very much.